praise your name when times of need carry on. I will praise your name, I will praise your name. Let Lord Jesus Christ shine forth. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are joining us. Welcome to another live stream with DCCI Ministries. And tonight it's Monday evening and we will be uh, taking some calls in the intention, answering some objections on the deity of Jesus. That's kind of topic we picked. And to do that, I do have Brother Jai Apologetics on the line. Peace of Christ be with you, Brother. Hey, Sister Tillon, peace of Christ be with you as well and with all of the viewers. Brother, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Thank you for having me, Sister. So, as I said, topic is um, 
questions on the deity of Jesus. So I put the link in the chat as well as in the description. If anyone wants to call in, please use that link to call in. And when you call in, make sure you give the permission as Ecom asks you. And after that, if you don't want to give like permission stuff, you can simply go and undo that. But if you don't give permission, then like there won't be internet connection for us to speak. So plan is we will start and then talking about how scripture screams out Lord Jesus Christ is God. And also uh, we will be taking some questions. So uh, please keep your conversations around the discussions we are having. You are very welcome to practice your freedom of speech, but do not abuse by um, copying and pasting the same message again and again. And please do not abuse and harass my moderators as well as please um, give extra double respect to my guests as well. So I'm just going to pick up this call and then keep the call on hold until, until we kind of do the introduction. And... Uh, Okay, let me just remind what I said. Um, don't abuse the chat. Don't copy and paste the same message again and again. Please do not share anyone's personal informations and engage um, on the co join the conversations on the topic which we pick. That's helpful for everyone. Um, Brother Jai, I've got I've got two people on the line right now, but I just want to kind of give you a little bit time to so that you can tell us. Um, I haven't seen you since last year. Can you just tell us what have you been up to since last year as well as how are you doing, Brother Jai? Yeah, it has been since last year. That is an accurate statement. It has it's been a whole been year. In... I haven't seen you. <laughs> yeah, it, that, that's true. And, uh, you know, it's been an exciting uh, time in between that year until now. Uh, lots of stuff going on and, uh, you know, just excited to jump in our topic today uh i actually did a stream on this topic not too long ago dealing with uh the gospel of luke in particular and this was on my channel and i was focusing on an, a, a portion of a book that i was reading that i had learned about <clears throat> and um the the author makes the case <clears throat> that that the mother of my Lord, Elizabeth speaking to, to Mary, the mother of my Lord, that that is a reference to Jesus being Yahweh. And yeah. maybe we can develop that, get into that today, but that is uh, kind of related to our topic today. So that's something I've been, you know, I've done over the uh, last time I've been with you here. Um, thank you very much for actually um, putting up the uh, videos as you learn new things. So we really appreciate that, brother. And, that's um, one of my favorite things. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do. I love to share the information. As soon as I learn something new, I get very excited, and <laughs> then I share it. And uh, you can attest to that. Sometimes you wake up with like fifty new texts. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are you are doing an amazing job, brother. <laughs> um, so tonight we are doing we are having this night because my Skype buzzes and buzzes and buzzes, and then questions comes again and again. We just thought. And even in the live streams, whatever we discuss, what, whatever topic is, uh, people bring up questions on the day two of Jesus. We just thought we have approximate two hours. I have to finish by latest, like latest 10 p.m. Um, um, we have um, this evening and then we give people opportunity to call in and then bring up their um, objections as well as we can have debates and discussions on the topic. So um, I do have uh, two individuals on the line. Um, so I will first give the opportunity to the person who called in first. Um, he, he's muted himself. I will. Uh, I apologize if the name you don't want to be known. <laughs> well, too late now. Um, so Obi Wan is right now. You have muted yourself. If you unmute yourself and then introduce yourself to us, and then after that, I will give mic to. Um, we will deal with him, and then we will pass the mic to Nadim, who is also on the line. Um, Obi, would you be kind enough and unmute yourself and then we can have discussions. Otherwise, I will count 20 and kick you out. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting Obi to unmute himself and join the conversation. 
but seems that's not happening. So we take him out of the call. Um, and then we've got another um, another caller. Nadim, hello, sir. Nadim, you have muted yourself. Can you please unmute yourself? Hi there, hi there, Hayat. Hello, sir. Can you tell us who are you? I'm uh, Nadim and uh, Muslim. You are Muslim? Okay. Mm, yes. Uh, yes. Why are you Muslim, sir? Because I have, because I worship God alone and uh, I follow Abraham, Moses, Jesus, follow all of them. Oh, bless your heart. When you said you worship Allah alone and you follow uh, individuals and then you put that, uh, you put in that list Jesus. In the scripture yes. when Jesus says, when Jesus says, I give eternal life. Did you turn to Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life, sir? Yeah, he said he said to uh, to follow him, but he was only only talking with the Jews at that time only. That doesn't answer my yeah. question, so I'm taking that as no, you do not follow Lord Jesus Christ. But um, what do you? What do you want to bring on the table tonight, sir? I just want to bring where you lot call him the Lord, you know, God. Yeah. So why do I call Jesus God? Yeah. Is because there question? is not a single verse. There's not a single verse which, which you know, which uh, Jesus says he's God. Not oh, a single is, verse at all. Th there is no single verse Jesus says I am not God either. Um, so I, um, I am uh, forced to identify, identify Lord Jesus as Lord and my Savior because scripture forces me to believe that. Uh, when I, I'll just give you a quick answer and then I'll pass on Jai and then we deal with that. So scripture forces me to believe that Jesus Christ is identified as Lord. Uh, why? Because Jesus is asking people to honor him exactly the way people would honor Father. Jesus has the attributes of God the Father. Jesus has the no, names. No. Jesus has the names of God. Jesus does the deeds only God can do. And Jesus seated on the throne and he comes from above. He comes from the throne. That will be a very simple answer, but I am happy to unpack them. But let me turn to uh, Brother Jai. Uh, Brother Jai. Why? Why yes, do you, you? Why do you call Jesus God? That's the question. Why a scripture? Apparently, according to Mister Muslim, scripture tells us um, scripture doesn't say Jesus is God. Okay, great. Thank you so much, sister, and welcome, Nadim. I think you said your name was Nadim. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'll try okay. to. Put, I'll. I try to put the names on the screen and then see if it's gonna work. Um, okay. But, yes, brother, go ahead. So um, just oh, a moment you, before, man. brother, sorry, sorry. Um, no so problem, if you are man. not speaking, if you are not speaking, please, please mute yourself. Um, and then don't kind of try to kind of make sure we hear one another. So um, yes, brother Jai. All right. Well, I'd like to interact with Nadim a little bit on this topic, if possible. One of the scriptures yeah. that I'd like to start with is in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, in the Hebrew Bible, the prophet Isaiah and in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6, it says, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. Now, would you agree that this is an accurate description of God, that he is the first and he is the last? He's the Redeemer, he's the King. He's the... Eternal, yeah, 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 he's a uh, eternal, yeah. Right. Okay, great. Hello? Now, if we go to, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. So if we go also yeah. to the Quran, since you're a Muslim, we'll, we'll utilize the Quran as well. Just to, just to ascertain some things that we can agree upon. If you go to the Quran chapter 57, I don't know if you have your Quran with you, or maybe you know this verse, the Quran chapter 57, verse 3 it says that 
it's speaking of Allah here, it says, He is the first and the last. Okay, are you familiar with this verse? 57 50s, verse yeah. yeah, he is the first and the last uh, ascended under, yeah, 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 go down. Great, okay, so yeah. we saw from, we saw from the prophet Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6, that God is the first and yeah. last, Yahweh is the first and last, and we see here from the Quran that Allah, that you know, you believe as well that these are titles of God, that he is the first and he is the last. Now, would you agree that whoever, okay, may, maybe maybe this depends on your sect of Islam, but there is a particular doctrine within, within, uh, within Islam that says that you cannot associate the names or titles or, or attributes of God with a creature. Would you agree with that? So a creature couldn't say someone who's just merely a creature, for example, couldn't say, I am the first and I'm the last, or couldn't say, I am the most merciful, or I am the truth, or something like that. Would you agree that a creature couldn't say that? Yeah, creature? but it depends It depends on the context. When uh, when uh, Jesus said it, it could have uh, mean, it could have mean that he's said, the... Sorry, when Jesus said what? Huh? When Jesus, Jesus said, said what? I'm the did, did, uh, is, is that in the... Book of yeah, Revelation. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I know you're, you're jumping ahead. You're thinking that I'm going to say something, but let's just focus on what we said so far. The yeah. prophet Isaiah tells us that Yahweh, that God is the I'm first and the last. Enough, enough. The Quran tells you that Allah is the first and the last. So do you agree yeah. that these are titles that belong to God and to Him alone? Uh, first and last. It depends in context. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, is there a context where a creature, a mere creature could say, I am the most merciful or I am the first? Is there a context that makes that permissible in Islam? No, no, no. But it could mean, it could okay. mean that, no, it could, okay. it could no, mean that's where. Fine. I just said, okay. So, so now as you, as you, you, you thought we were going to go to Revelation, we are going to go to Revelation. So let's go to oh, Revelation wait. chapter one. Okay. Chapter yeah. one. And let's start yep. in verse 11, not 17. I think that's where you thought we were going, but let's start in verse 11. So Revelation chapter one, verse 11, reading from the New King James Version. And it yeah. says, saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book, send it to the seven churches, which are in Asia, Ephesus, to Samaria, to per, uh, Pergamos, to Thyatira. Yeah. Th yeah, in Turkey. Yeah, he's, to he's, Sardis, to Philadelphia, to Laodicea. Okay. Yeah, now, but so we the, see here again. Hold one second, one second. We see here again <coughs> that this that the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, is commanding to send out these uh the, to send out to write down what, what is being seen in a book and send out to the seven churches. Okay? Yeah. And if we continue reading, if we continue reading in chapter the same chapter, going on to verse 17 and 18. And when I saw him, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me saying, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Yeah. I know this verse. So here... We have, nice we have the first and last saying that yeah. they are him who lives and was dead. Yeah. Now, my question to you is, since you agreed that the titles first and the last are titles proper to God, and the prophet Isaiah says that that is the case, the Quran agrees with that, yeah. who do you think is speaking here in chapter 1, verse 17 and 18 in Revelation? To be honest, yeah, I was waiting for a quote from Jesus from the Gospels of Mark, Luke, John, and uh, we can Matthews. we can get to there. We can no, get to there. No, but this is better. we can get to there. Let, let me just clarify though. So the question is, the question is, does the Bible? Because you asked, you asked, you asked, um, Sister Atun, you This is the question that you that you posed. You said, "Why do you believe yeah. Jesus is God?" And so when you're asking Christians, "Why do we believe Jesus is God?" We believe in the entirety of the Bible. So we're not, although we're not saying we can't go to the Gospels, we can and we will, Lord willing, but 
right now we're going to this example and this is acceptable for christians it's authoritative for christians it's the word of god for all people whether you accept it or not that's the question but here's an instance where jesus is claiming to be the first and the last and you're saying where does he claim to be god well right here he's saying he's the first and the last no, so this is god. an instance where jesus god. says that you're not going to be god he, he's not yeah. he's not claiming god here the first and the, the first and the last could mean that he was a he was the first for the children of Israel and the last for them as well. What do you mean first? What do you mean first? First and the Israel? last for these Jews. Where did you get that from in the text? No, so I'm saying context. It could be. It could be that context. Can I just? So you're nobody saying, knows exactly. the context. Nobody yeah. knows that context. What, what hold on, hold on. But, but but you're, was, saying, you're saying. Hold on one second. One second. You're saying that the titles first and the last are titles that belong to God and to Him alone. You, you agreed with that. And now we're showing you where Jesus uses these titles, titles that belong to Yahweh, that belong to Allah, according to you, they belong to Allah, to God alone. Jesus is saying that he is the first and he is the last. This this book of Revelation was written long after Jesus. It so doesn't the matter. Day, I'm not going go to go there. Hold on. We're asking no, no. the question, does the Bible teach Jesus is God? That's the question. We're not asking whether you accept its authority. We're not asking whether you believe. Yeah, it. so you have to show me you have to show me when when uh, when uh, Jesus was on the on, on the earth, that's what no, I want to show you. You have to show me when Jesus was on earth. When Jesus was on earth, you show me proof. Okay, okay. You Let me just proof. jump in. Yeah. Let me just jump in. Sir? Yeah. You asked. Jesus yeah. never claims this in the Bible. Yeah. If you are a Muslim, it. listen to me. If you are Muslim, you know that Book of Revelation is part of the Bible, which Quran comes to confirm. So now let's get to the very basic point. No, no, no. Let's the get to the Quran very basic point. Confirm. At the, the Quran beginning, is not confirmed. at the beginning, you expressed that no one can have the names of God. You confirm that now. Can you tell us what is this verse by itself when Jesus identifies himself first and last and then takes the name of God, what does it say to us about what Jesus claimed to be? It, it could be anything in context. It could be that he was a first for, for these for these Jews and the last okay, read the, read Jews. The context. Was, read the context. Uh, so read the context what? for me. What do you mean? Read, what the, do you mean? Read, yeah, so, read the context and then tell us what yeah. it is. I just want to say the reason why I read to you verse 11 is because it tells us what first and the last means. Yeah. First and the last is paired with alpha and omega. It's the same meaning. So the beginning and the end, the first and the last, these are titles that belong to God and to God alone. So you can, so not, you're, you're, not taking, you're taking not a couple clear. different angles. Here. You're taking a couple different angles here. I'd want, on one hand, you're saying, oh, it could mean he's the first sent to the Jews. It could mean he's the last sent to the Jews. And then on the other hand, you're saying, well, I don't accept this as authoritative. I want something from Jesus when he was on earth. So it seems like you're not being consistent in how you're approaching this. That was, no, no. My, is, my main can question. Someone, can my, someone my, take these my titles? Was, can someone take the titles of, hold on one second, Nadim. Can someone take the titles of God and apply them to themselves? Yes or no? That's the question. What's that? No, no, no. Okay, but, let me ask okay, the question. Okay, so if they, if they can't do that, if they can't do that, then Jesus is claiming to be God. Then he's no, claiming no. to be the first. There's no God. evidence like, that this is Jesus. No, hold on. We're not asking whether there's evidence that this is Jesus or not. You're asking the question: Does the Bible no, teach this? Jesus, even even okay, the at... Christian, even the Christian the, churches were. Nadim, Nadim, question, Nadim. Question, I need you to pull yourself together, Nadim, sir. Yeah. I need you to pull yourself together. Answer this very basic question, and then we move on. So yeah, I've yeah. got three people are waiting, and then someone else is already calling as well. So. The question Jai asked you, which you answered, but I want to hear that once again, okay? According to Islam, Jesus is sinless. According to Christian scripture, Jesus is sinless. You exp So someone who is sinless is not capable to lie, okay? So you expressed that the first and last sinless is the name, listen, first and last is the name belong to God and no one can take that name on himself. And Jesus himself is taking that name on himself. So according to this scripture, Jesus is yeah. claiming to be God. No, he's not claiming God. He's what claiming is he God. claiming to be? I don't know. Uh, nobody knows the no, context no, no. of this. If you know his claim... We know the context. Sir? We know the context. Sir? No, don't know the context. sir, brother Jai already gave you the context. 
if he's not yeah. claiming to be God, okay, open yeah. the scripture and then break it down for me what no, he's you, claiming to be. Why are you so question. afraid of reading this scripture? No, open I, the scripture I, I, I know this and verse. then read it to us verse. and then break it down for us. No, you have to answer this question. Sir, why, pull why yourself why together. Was... You need to listen and then engage. So, if yes, according to you, Jesus is claiming to be something else, yes. open the scripture, read it to us, and then unpack it for us. Jai already did to you Christian interpretation. So, you are disagreeing. Yeah, that's a interpretation. You are, that's a you interpretation. are disagreeing. Now, read it and then explain to us, please. I know, I know what it means, and and I, I know what it means. What he means? What does it mean? The, the the first and last. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay. But, but how come? But how come? Jesus no, no, no. What does that mean? Nadim, what? what does that mean? You said you know you said, what he you means. Said you know what it means. So what does that mean? The first and last year, God says he's the first and last. But when Jesus says it, it couldn't mean anything. It could no, be it he's the first mean, for the Jews, he's the first thing. for the Jews and the last for the Jews. Nobody Nadim, knows. Nadim, it only means it Listen. Nadim, it only means one thing. So you know, let you, me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Is let Muhammad me give me some the last? scriptures as well. Nadim. Let me Nadim. Jay, it, please Nadim, let me give you some scriptures. Slow down, slow down. Nadim. No, wait, wait, me, wait. Is Muhammad is Muhammad the first and the last? No, no, no. No? Why why is it why Muhammad not? the first and the last? The days days one days one person in the old no it's not the old testament new testament listen, listen name to is, question uh, no 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 nadim no 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 I am, listen I am. jai's question you're going to jai's answer question, the question was, yourself, jai, jai's question is is muhammad first and last you answer that no, is no, no. no his no, next no, question no, is no, no. why not why he doesn't have that title give us the answer obviously he's a uh, uh, Prophet, like like they know. Okay, so it, that name is only for prophets. Can uh, can human beings have that name? Okay, there is one person. No, there's no, no, one no, no. person. Let me answer. Let me answer here. Let me answer here. You, you need to you need to answer my question. Let me answer. Let me answer. There is one person in the New Testament. He's he is called he is called uh, first on the last as well. Uh, his Who? name is. Oh damn it! What's his name again? Jesus. What's your no, name? no. There's another person. I'm Jesus. not joking. No, no. Jesus. There's another person. Oh, in the New Testament, name. Jesus is called first and last. There is one person that's called that. That he says that he that 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 he hasn't been born and he hasn't died. There's one. Are you more talking about Melchizedek? Person. Are you talking about Melchizedek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, say, yeah, it doesn't yeah, say yeah, first yeah. and the last. It says it, no, no. You're it doesn't say the beginning and the end. It doesn't no, say, it, it says, doesn't say it says that he hasn't been. It doesn't say, Nadim, it doesn't say the first and the last. Died. We're talking about these titles. We're talking about these titles, first and the last. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Does does Hebrews attribute the titles first and last to Melchizedek? Yes or no? Or... Yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> What's that? It, it, it doesn't. The answer it's, it's, is no. The book of Hebrews, the book of Hebrews does not attribute first and last to Melchizedek. Okay, I'm so now, sure. yeah, now it's let's move on thing. to let's move on to Jesus one. Okay, so Jai asked you the question. Anyone else has this name? He brought up Muhammad. You answered no because Muhammad is prophet. If prophets yeah. cannot have this this title, who oh. is allowed to or capable to have such a title, which is title only for God? To be honest, yeah. I, I don't want you to be before. honest. Just answer my question. No, to be honest here, before what I was asking for is proof where Jesus was on earth claiming to be. No, 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 Nadim, Nadim, you don't get book to make of Revelation was answer. written. Nadim, the book of Nadim, the book Nadim, of Revelation was written opinion, long after, long Nadim, after he knows. Nadim, hold on, slow down, Nadim. We're, we're not interested. Long after. Nadim, right now, no right now, this. Nadim, hold on. We can't both talk at the same time. Just wait, wait, wait. Yeah, but what? you're not letting me answer. That's why. Yeah, yeah, because here's we're not right now. We're not interested in whether. Let me quote some scriptures then. Hold on. Let me quote some scriptures. Nadim, wait, wait, wait. We're not interested right now in whether you think 
the book of Revelation should be considered part of the Bible or not. You know that as Christians, we accept it to be the no, inspired word it wasn't, of God and authority. It wasn't. So when you ask when you ask Christians, when you ask Christians, why do you believe Jesus is God? And we're telling you he's using titles that belong only to God. Here's the proof in Revelation. Now you're saying, okay, yeah, the book of Revelation does say that he's God, but now that's not part of the Bible. We're gonna dispute that's a whole other topic. We're gonna okay, answer this question. Does the book of Revelation teach that Jesus is the first and the last? Only that one verse out okay. of the whole so New Testament. It does one yeah. verse, one okay. verse of the Holy Testament. Let me let me let me stop. No, 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 no. It's, no, it's Nadim, this is the let first example we went to. Verses this is the first yeah. example, Nadim. This is the first example we went to. We only brought up one example, is, so you can't say oh. this is the only verse. That trust me. The way that you just conceded on this point, we can get you to do that with 50 other verses. Yes, you are. Because conceding. you just admitted that Jesus is the first and the last. According it, to could mean, it, could mean, it could mean that he was the first for the Jews and the last for the Jews. No, and the first for you and the last for you. It doesn't mean that. It, it doesn't mean, mean that. What no, it means it is mean that. It, what it, no, it doesn't mean that, Nadim. What it means is the in the context, it means Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. That's what it means. That's, that's your Christian commentaries. That's, that's your Christian no, commentaries. That, that, that Who's is, that's Christian commentaries? Nadim? Nadim, for us to yeah. move forward, I need you to yeah. confirm that this is what the book of Revelation is saying and you are disagreeing with it. It's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's up to you, no. Lord. That's up please to confirm you, for us. Unless... Listen. Please confirm for us that the uh, book of Revelation identifies Jesus first and last. Jesus himself identifies him, himself first and last in the book of Revelation, which is the title, Only Belong to God. We, and then express to us, you disagree, You dis this is what scripture teaches, but you disagree with it, it's absolutely fine. But this is what the scripture is teaching. We can't move teaching. forward unless you're going to be honest. We can't move forward unless you're going to be honest with us on this point. It says that, it says that, but to be honest, the book of Revelation... Yeah. Okay, okay well, we're not interested in that part, Nadine. Okay, so, so let's be clear. Let's be clear on what you just agreed to. Do you agree that according to the Bible, not according to Nadim, according to the Bible, Yahweh is the first and the last? According to the Bible, Revelation is included in the Bible. You're talking to Christians. Jesus claims to be the first and the last. Do you agree that Jesus is claiming titles for himself that only belong to Yahweh? We're not saying do you believe in that, but do you, do you agree that, that, that that's what the Bible says? I will not agree anything when Jesus was not on earth. Okay. Anything well, else? No. So, we, that, can't be, we can't move well, on unless he's going to be honest. So with no, 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 no. You're, Nadine, speaking, you're, Nadine, you're saying something that Nadine, Jesus was not oh, here. I can't, Nadine, okay. Nadine, so what yeah. I need you to do is, uh, uh, I'm going to mute you. I'm going to give you approximately 20 minutes. Okay? Think yeah. through your yeah. answer. Think through your no, answer. Let me, let me, let me, once let me you are ready, verses. listen now. Hatun, you Listen, are, you no. never... Once you are ready, okay, leave the comment in the chat. I will unmute you and then we move forward. We cannot move forward if you are, if we cannot finish one, um, one passage. Right. Okay. So I will mute you and then we will take the next caller. And then once kind of you uh, think through, reflect what your answer is supposed to be, then we uh, move forward healthier. Okay, I'm going to take the second caller that was, uh, let me, un oh, that guest is muted himself. Um, okay, let's just unmute this. Okay, right now. So it says my guests are muting themselves. Can you, can you please? I can't take Skype calls. It was a mistake. My Skype is on. It's off now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, dear guests, can you please unmute yourself? Because from my side, it seems that you have muted yourself. Once you unmute yourself, we will say hi to you. Okay. Uh, uh, Brother Jai, until they um, unmute themselves, uh, would you be kind enough and summarize um, your argument, yeah. how um, you kind of put together what name of um, God in the Old Testament, as well as how it, the, that name is Hello? also in... Okay, we, we are able to take the call. Hello, sir. I'll come back to you in Hello. a second, Jai. Hello, sir. Okay. Can you tell us who are you? Yes, I'm Obi-Wan, and 
my point is very very simple your religion are you, is a are pagan you Muslim, religion are you Muslim, sir? it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i, I your, am your taking that as a... you are muslim so um we okay. are talking about Great. the deity okay. of awesome. deity of it, it, jesus it's, it's not even germane to the argument but anyway sir we are talking about the deity of jesus uh as a muslim i believe you do not believe jesus is the lord um do you want to kind of give us your objections thank you okay thanks for muting me um my objection is that your your piggybacked new testament on the torah uh is completely uh contrary to every teaching in the torah um god is not a man very very clearly says that everywhere um god is not like anything that walks on this earth he's not like anything anything in the okay. air I'll, there's I'll nothing stop that you can you. imagine sir, this I'll is very very clear sir i'll stop you there so um you'll stop heard me there. Of course you will. sir pull yourself together Be big boy. Maybe you should. Be, be big boy. So, um, his objection um, is, according to, mm -hmm. uh, he didn't give us the reference, but I'm guessing he's going to use numbers if he bothered to read the scripture. So, in the scripture, yeah. it is identified. Numbers is what? That's what. God, yeah, numbers is what. God is not. In yeah, the so, why don't, why don't, since, since you know the scripture, Obi, why don't you tell us what it says? I don't have it out in front of me. I, don't, I haven't memorized your, your Old Testament. It's not even your Old Testament, actually. I haven't memorized your Old so, Testament. Sir, sir. You called in. I believe that you want a healthy discussion. So, can you please turn to a uh, Bible and then read for us the scripture which you are going to I use as an objection? A, I don't have a computer in front of me. I don't. Have a computer. Got, I can, I can debate phone. you, but I don't have a computer in front of me. Be big boy, sir. Be big boy. Stop crying. Are you crying. talking to us through the black stone? How are you talking to us? I'm I'm talking to you on my iPhone. Very funny. Okay, in okay. iPhone, you, you, you don't have you don't have a browser on your you iPhone. Your in you iPhone, you got access to Bible Gateway. Turn to the Bible Gateway, open the passage, if I, if and then I read it for us. Here, then I will lose. I will lose you. You won't, sir. I, I I will. I know how this works. So where is it? Okay, where is it? Um, in the scripture, it identifies. God is a um, okay, Jesus well, cannot go to Hosea because he's a man. In, Hos in Hosea, it says that God is not a man. In uh, Hosea, in Isaiah, okay, it says okay. that God is not a man sir, that he shall lie. Sir, uh, sir, in, in just numbers, a moment, sir, yeah. just a moment. You said Hosea. I'm giving you the verses. I'm giving you the verses. You said Hosea, and then your second reference was Isaiah. You said God is Isaiah, not a man in Isaiah. Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah, God is not a man that he should lie. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay, in Numbers, you have uh, where it says that God is not like anything on the ground, like or not, not like anything in the air. Okay. Uh, there's also another one in Psalms. But I okay, let's let's deal head. with this tree. Is that okay? So okay, let's no deal with this tree yeah, first. No so um, I will be asking you to be kind enough, and then just do a quick Google search, and then give me the reference for Hosea, where it is identified God is not a man. Are you going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to ask you to give me the reference from the book of Hosea, where it says. And also, also I'm going, going to ask you the same now. question did, for did not hear Isaiah. What I, said I am also going to ask you the same question for Isaiah. Okay, well, you you, you can look it up, sir. Are, are you disputing? Are you disputing sir, those verses? Are you sir, saying those verses don't exist, sir? I am asking you to give provide me the reference. I've given you the chapter. I don't. I don't which have the chapter in Hosea. In Hosea is not a chapter. Hosea is a book. So which chapter I've given in you Hosea? The book. I've given you the book. I've given you the okay. book. Okay. Hosea is, I think, thirteen chapters or fourteen chapters. Let me check how okay. many. Okay. Then type in, in exactly what tell I said, me, and then tell type me, in Hosea, and it will come Obi, up. Tell me which part in Hosea it states that fourteen I have chapters. Have to pull yourself together and do a quick Google search. So. I am assuming from that you didn't even bother to read the book of Hosea. Can you be kind enough and then tell me who is Hosea? It, it doesn't matter who Hosea is. It does is. matter. I'm it telling does you matter. exactly what the Can you be says. kind enough? Can you be kind enough and then tell me what is the timeline Hosea was written? Hosea is one of the last books. No, that's not my question. What is the timeline book of Hosea is written? I don't know. I don't okay. know. Okay, so... It doesn't, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Those questions were very simply to just figure out if Mr. Muslim bothered to read the book of Isaiah. I think we can easily come to conclusion that no, he didn't read the book of Hosea. I don't I think, think you've read any I of the think, Old Testament to compl be completely I honest with you. If you did, you wouldn't be a Christian. I think he's talking about Hosea chapter 11. 
overall, oh, wow. overall, I am sure that he already read it. And then his uh, Hosea chapter 11 is the how the heart of God is poured to his people. So, uh, Brother Jai, I give you the first Hosea 11 yeah. reference. And then first with yeah, you I'm with that. I'm familiar with, I'm familiar with all the references. Okay, p in case people are not... Is that the, the, yeah, just to... So do you want me to address it or what do you want me to do? Um, I just wanted to bring up Hosea. Uh, read it in case people don't know. And then okay. we, we take it from there. Is that okay for you, Ricky brother? Yeah, let me pull it up. Yeah, so, so Hosea chapter 11. Hosea chapter 11. Um, he's talking about verse 9. Come up okay? quick. Quick. Yeah. So um, I love to read whole of Hosea 11, but I'll stick with verse 9. I will not carry okay. out my fierce anger, nor will I... Yeah, oh, he's, he's talking to someone yeah. else. Okay, so and Obi, I have muted you in the intention you are having conversation on the background, and it is not helpful, so... Um, so, um, I will you not carry out... Up his... hmm? oh, sister, you to... Okay, yeah. I was just going to say you might want to turn up his camera, but he did that, okay. Um, he, he does that from his side. I can't do that from his side. I will not carry out my fierce anger, nor will I turn and devast devastate Ephraim. For I am God, not a man, the Holy One among you. I will not come in wrath. They will, come, they will follow the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he roars, his children will come trembling from, from the west. They will come trembling like birds from Egypt, like doves from Assyria. I will settle them in their homes, declares the Lord. So that's Hosea 11 from verse um, 9 onwards. Yeah. So there are a couple ways to approach this. One way is, let's ask Obi, does he think that this refutes anything that Christians believe? The idea that God is not a man, do you think that that refutes or contradicts anything that Christians believe? Okay. I will not execute the fierceness of my anger. Obi, are you listening to yeah. us? I'm listening. Okay, so can we make sure the so individual the, who is in your background? Question? What's the answer to the question I just asked? Yeah, you, you wanted me to get references, so I, I have references now. No, that wasn't. No, that I just wasn't. asked you. That, Okay, so you're not paying attention. What yeah, was the question Jai asked you? Else you, told you? Me to do that yeah. yeah, so I, so you weren't paying attention. We say just read the verse out for you. Okay, say and then again. I asked you a question. Okay. Okay. So the question again. I asked you. What well, the question that I asked you was this reference when God says that He's not a man. Do you think that that contradicts anything that Christians believe about God? Of, of course, it's obvious. You okay. believe this is your theology that God okay, is one hundred percent man and one hundred percent divine at the same God time. Is 100 he's man, God is one hundred percent man. God is one hundred percent man. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. God. So Obi, if God Obi, is wait, not a wait, man, Obi, then Obi, Obi, slow down, slow down. Obi, Obi, your theology. What's this guy's problem? Obi, hold on. You, I'm asking Don't just go question, random. Though. It's I'm, not I'm, a football. We're not. We're not interested. Hold on, just dude. Slow down. Have a conversation. I'm asking you a simple question. You answer the question, okay? Don't go like shotgunning off like a million things. Let's yeah. focus on one point. You said that we believe that God is 100% God, 100% man. Where did you get your that? Theology. From? Whose theology is that? As a Christian, that is your theology. Jesus is 100% man. 100% no, 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 you didn't God. say you didn't yes say no? Jesus. You Am didn't I say wrong? Jesus. You said God. You, you didn't wrong? say yes. You didn't say Jesus. You said God really? is 100% God. Obi, listen. You didn't say Jesus. You said God is 100% God and 100% man. That's what you said. I meant, I, meant, I meant Jesus, obviously. Bye bye. Okay. So when we're talking about Jesus being 100% divine or having a divine nature and a human nature, fully God, fully man. Yeah. And where is the contradiction when God says that he's not a man in Hosea? Where is the contradiction there, according to you? Are you, are, are you serious, Jai? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, I'm serious. Okay. I said to you that Jesus is, according to you and your theology, fully uh -huh. man and fully God. If, okay. if, if the Bible in the Old Testament, in the Torah, says that God is not a man, you immediately take uh -huh. that entire fully man part out of your theology of Jesus being God. Do you not see how, how that's problematic for you? No, because what you're saying, what you're, what I think what you're reading is 
God stops being God and then becomes a man. That's not what we believe. That's not what it says. Yeah, I know what it. I know what it says. It doesn't say what you think it's saying. So I, let me try another I, I approach. This this, says, this might register. This might register. It. Yeah, yeah. So this might register with you a little bit better. Let me try this approach. In the time of Isaiah, so so what when when you said Jesus, we believe it's about Jesus that he has a divine nature and a human nature. When did when do we believe that, that happened? You believe that happened uh, six hundred years after Micah. Uh, six hundred years after Micah. So right, yeah. is that after Hosea or before Hosea? That's that's after Hosea. Micah is the last okay. book. So when so when in Hosea God says that he's not a man, according to you, this means that God cannot take on a human nature. Do we believe that God took on a human nature at that point? Well, no, according to your theology, no. Okay, so how does this contradict what we believe? Because God is making an unequivocal statement in the Old Testament saying that he is not uh -huh. a man. It, it, it right. seems and quite far believe he was to a, me to believe to that you, God would go against his word. Okay, according to you, according to you, your understanding of this. I'm not saying this is the proper understanding, but I'm trying to get you to see even in your own objection, this doesn't make any sense. According to you, do we believe that God, quote unquote, was a man in this time? Until, and what time? Yeah, why don't you listen to your friend giving you advice in the background? He's not giving me advice. He's trying to understand what you said. I just heard. I just heard him. I just heard him giving you advice. Don't try to hide it. It's He's okay. not giving me advice. You guys advice. can both, talk. You, guys can both you talk. I'm trying you to You guys can both talk. Okay, let me let me say it one more time. Then, do we believe that in Hosea's time, according to you, do we believe that God was a man? Is that too hard to understand? Or do you want me to say it again? Give him time to reflect, brother. It needs he needs Maybe to he needs some friends. Call the friends. Yes, sir. Okay, call yeah. Friends. So he muted himself. So he's just getting the answer. Once he get the answer, so, so he will as, as he does this, as he does, I just want to explain to people. This is not actually what I believe the verse is saying. I'm just using his own logic against him here. I don't believe that this is what it's saying at all. If you read the context, anytime God in the Old Testament says that he's not a man, it usually goes along with saying he doesn't lie. He's not a son of man, like Numbers 23, 19, for example. So it's telling us that God is not like man, that when he says something, he's going to do it. So he's saying, I'm not man. I'm God. When I say something's going to happen, it's going to happen. If I say I'm going to protect you, I'm going to protect you. Yeah. If I give you a promise, I'm going to keep my promise. I'm not a man. I'm not like you. I keep my promises. I'm God. You, so are, not, you are not holy. What, I am holy in this context. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, so, he, that, so that's unmuted. what it's saying. And then it's also not saying, it's also not saying that God, like, you know, cannot take on the human laughing, nature or anything laughing. like that. That doesn't yeah, say anything about laughing. that at all. I know he's Hello. back after consulting Hello. with his friend. Are, are, you, are you back to us, Obi? I, I did, by the way, I didn't mute. So something happened. You, muted you did mute yourself. Don't lie. I didn't, I didn't mute myself. You I did, your, myself. You did yeah. mute yourself. Okay. Now you, right. you have right. unmuted right. yourself. Yeah, I muted myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, next. Can you respond to Jai's question, please? <laughs> he muted himself again. Yeah, okay. So he keeps muting himself, and he's saying okay, he's not so... muting himself. Maybe, maybe when he switches windows, maybe it mutes him. I don't know. Maybe that's what's going on. No, he muted himself. I think he's just trying to get answer to basic ah. um, your yeah, question yeah, you asked. Yeah. So he needs time for that, brother. Okay. He muted himself again. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? We can hear you, sir. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. So do you have an answer, or are you just going to keep playing games yeah, with us? Okay, what's your question? So you didn't listen to the <laughs> question. I what's said, do you have question? an answer? He says, yeah. He says, yeah, he has an answer. Wait, you said, yeah, you have an answer. But then you said, what's the question? So you don't Hurry have an answer. I'm going to ask you a question, man. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't Ask know how far this is going to get. <clears throat> I already asked it. I, I'm, I'm clearly having technical difficulties. Uh-huh. So when I said to you, do you have an right. answer? And you said yes, that means you have an answer. I have an answer if you ask a question. So how do you... So Okay, so if, what's the answer then? I, I didn't hear your question. So you don't have an answer? <laughs> Okay, then give, okay, give this the question. Is silly. This is silly, Obi. Um, okay, let me let me try it one more time. Okay, so according oh, to you, you, the way you're understanding this verse, the way you're understanding this verse is that Hosea is saying that 
God is saying to Hosea through the prophet Hosea that he is not a man, which which means is he still here or not? I can. Um. Yeah. He he's here. He's. I think he's having quick chit chat. But yes, he's on the line. Okay. So what he's saying is that God here in Hosea is saying that he's not a man. And his understanding of this is that this means that God cannot take on a human nature. That's his understanding of that. So I'm saying, okay, if by that understanding, do we believe, because you keep saying your theology, Christian theology, do Christians believe that God took, that the second person of the Trinity, that Jesus took upon himself a second nature, human nature, at that time? At that time? That's the question. If he's understanding this correctly, which he's not. Okay, so, so if no... Then how is it contradicting what we believe? Because you brought it up because, in order to say this is something that God is making an unequivocal statement here. Does it say I will never be? Does it according to your your view? It does it say I will never become never. a man? You're shifting the goalpost. It doesn't need to say never. How am I shifting the goal? That's not shifting the goalpost. Of That's course asking it is. what the of text says. I'm giving you an unequivocal statement. You're trying to add words into it's, it to, to try to so change the, the unequivocal statement. The unequivocal statement is God speaking in the time of Hosea, saying that I'm not a man, and I'm saying by your exactly. understanding, which I don't agree with. Huh? That's it. That's 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 a statement. That's it. It's done. Yes. So what what kind of right. things? So, so it doesn't. So according, even he even agrees with us that this doesn't contradict what we believe, if, according to his own understanding of this. Because what he's saying is, when God says, "I am not a man," it means I can't take on a human nature, which is not what it means. But I'm saying, let's grant his fault understanding and even work within his faulty logic. In that understanding, he agrees that Christians don't believe that God had this human nature, or the second person of the Trinity had this human nature at the time of Hosea. So therefore, it doesn't contradict what we believe. It might be helpful. Uh, it might be helpful. Are you asking me now? So, Obi, it might be yeah. helpful. Uh, maybe first you discuss the, um, your arguments with your friend on the I background. I don't need to discuss anything. And then, it's obvious. And then, and then he call, asked me. And then call he asked us. me. One second, one second. He asked me, do you believe this contradicts our theology in the New Testament? I said yes, because you believe that God is fully, oh, Jesus, sorry, is fully man and fully God. This really verse man, really in man, Hosea really says that God is, he says he is not a man. And that's it. That's it. That, 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 that takes away your entire theology. Okay. I will so not I already responded to that. I don't know how many times anger. I need to... I will not return to destroy Ephraim, for I am God and not man, the Holy One in the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. So he's not man. That's it. He's not man. He's God. He's the Holy One. I am man. Exactly. I am not holy in the numbers. He's not a man because man lies. God doesn't lie. He's comparing with the human attributes, with the human characters. Your God surely is, is confusing though, isn't it? So, so see, so thank you. Um, so since we've got someone else in the background, why don't you both of you put your camera and then we have healthy discussion and then one, one person kind of the, the one who knows the arguments yeah. who kind of learned the Dawa scripts you step in and then we take it from there because right Listen, now don't, don't, it's, not, don't go, deflect. it's not going don't well. deflect deal with the argument yeah, no, no one is deflecting so, the, the, the problem let, is let the problem is over that you don't understand oh wait the problem is over that you don't understand the arguments maybe your friend understands them better so if you think he's more equipped then let come have, let him talk to us we'll talk to him so, so, so you can't well, deal with him why would you come to me Oh, so there we go. He said, you can't deal with him. Why would you come to me? So that means he's the better one. So if you're the better one, then why don't you come and why don't you make the arguments and let's see how let's see how much you understand this topic. Jay, and I'll Jay, even show you down. from your I'll even show you Jay, from your Quran, your Islam. Listen, listen. I'll show you from your Islam, your God forget taking that, on that's forms. Not the argument. Your God that's not the argument. taking on forms. Islam your God is not going to help you understand why God is half man and half God. Yeah, it's, what is Islam, no, is, going do, what Islam is going to do is going to do, refute your argument. That's what it's going to do. So let, how, let how me just let me just make a point. Let me just make a point, Obi. Um. I am very disappointed. I remember I have I have seen your name in the chat in the past. I am very disappointed, and I am assuming you are already over 15 years old. That and you kind of remember there are certain books in the Bible. You identify them as some of one of them Hosea, other one is Isaiah, and other one is Numbers. Okay. But at this stage, I am very much disappointed. You stated something, half man, half God. None of the Christians ever believe that. 
as well as scripture doesn't teach that. So you're right. You're right. You're right. That was a mischaracterization so you, on my part. You're right. Why don't right. you? Why don't you uh, be kind enough and then sit down and then have your script from your friend and then call in again? We can have better discussion. But when um, so you don't want to deal with the argument, once, I'm not going to call in again. You don't want to deal with the argument, yes? I think I believe you already answered your question, which you failed to respond to the questions you've been posed to. And if you are having a problem with um, how awful human hearts is, and God will never uh, be like that, then I guess um, you have to deal with the body parts of Allah, as also Allah, young man, young man with yeah, the curly hair. Look how you're deflecting. Hand. Look how you're deflecting. So, look how you're deflecting. It's it's you you know what our understanding of that is and and you you try I don't know what is your understanding I don't know what is your understanding on that Look now you're trying to all. shift the argument but, to the Islamic but, argument But what we are can you okay Obi can you just summarize for me Jais respond to your argument J Jai says that his response to my argument was that God it doesn't say God cannot become a man it just says that God is not a man no, and what so was his what was his response his to your argument? Listen, listen my question again. That so we will his, see if you listen. So that wasn't. So pull yourself together once you figure that out, and then come back to us. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so just to be clear, just to be clear, the reason why I was arguing that way was because I was using his own logic yeah. against him and saying, even by your own understanding, you don't come to the position like the, your position that you're taking is not the logical conclusion based on your own logic. Yeah. So I don't agree with his logic. I don't accept his logic. But even if his logic were correct, you wouldn't come to that conclusion. So the right understanding of this is that God is not a man, meaning like he's not like humans in terms of keeping promises or saying he's going to do something he's not going to do he's not a liar he's not he doesn't need to re all these all of these things so that's what it's saying and 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 no one is no one when we don't believe for example we don't believe that god ceases being he stops being god and then becomes a man we don't that's not what the incarnation is so it's a complete misunderstanding of what we believe the fact he thinks it contradicts what we believe shows demonstrates it doesn't actually know what we believe yeah so um christian scripture teaches God, before everything else, is Father, Son, and Spirit. John chapter 17. Father is loving the Son in the power of Spirit. Son steps into the world. A couple of weeks ago, we looked at how Son steps into the world in certain forms in the Old Testament. But Son steps into the world in the form of human nature. So not form of human nature. Son steps into the world in human nature. Uh, nine months, nine months before Christmas. Um, that's all it is. It's not like anyone is like becoming half or twenty-five uh, percent or anything or fifty percent. It's God and man is uniting. So that's very basic Christian theology of incarnation. I am sorry that um, Muslims um, don't um, have the listening skills, especially when they call in, because you do expect them to have certain listening skills when they call in. And um, hopefully uh, he will learn the arguments better from his friend. Um, he will call again or his friend will be brave enough to call. So I'm going to move to... Jai, do you want to add anything at this stage? No, that that's no. fine. Yeah. So, um, so context in Hosea 11 and in Numbers, it's the si similar context. So God is comparing himself the character of man. So I'm going to uh, take this call. Uh, I, I just uh, one more thing though, actually, yeah. so that you mentioned it. I mean, this is clear in the Torah itself. It says God is a man of war. So, so yeah. the, the so you have to understand what it means in context. It's, there's no contradictions. These things uh, sometimes they can be metaphors. Sometimes they can they can mean like in the context that we're talking about. They're comparing God to humankind, human uh, humans in terms of keeping human promises. And stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I don't know how to pronounce this name, but um, Ergo, um, can you please unmute yourself? Okay, he's not unmuting himself. Let's take the next caller, um, Carol. Uh, I am unmuting you, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hi, human. Ma'am, can you make your YouTube is muted? Okay, um, after but, um, 
Um, Ma'am, can you make sure your YouTube is muted? Once you mute your, your, your YouTube, I will unmute you from this side. Can you hear me? I am unmuting you, ma'am. Yes, I, I can I can hear you, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, ma'am. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear Hello. Me your YouTube is muted. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, ma'am. Hello. Hello, ma'am. You are you are able to speak, but we need you Thank to you. mute your YouTube. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, ma'am, can you make sure your YouTube? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, we will hanging up that call in the intention. There is a kind of problems let me just get rid of these names on the screen uh, okay let's take call of James and David and then we see from there hello sir James hello hello sir can you hear us hello can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Oh, did the other guy leave? The the, the OB one or sir, something like that? Sir, uh, uh, we are talking about we are talking about deity of Jesus. Are you Muslim? Are you Christian? I'm a I'm a Trinitarian Christian. You are Trinitarian Christian. Why are you calling in tonight? Because I was going to talk to that OB guy, but it seems like he left. <laughs> yes, OB is not on the line, sir. Now. All right, all right. He was he, he was referencing it's about uh about uh, Jesus or God becoming a man, and he doesn't believe that. I was going to direct him to one Timothy three sixteen, where uh, great great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. God flesh. Uh, apparently, I missed him. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Uh, one of the things we can do, sir, is um. Brother Jai already kind of uh, respond to the passages he brought up. Um, hopefully, uh, he, when he calls next time, you keep eye on it, and then you call in, and then you can have conversation. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Thank, you, thank you very much. All sir. right. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Um, so Nadim put his hand up. Uh Okay, um, Brother Jai, I'm just going to give right to Nadim to speak because we give him time okay. to reflect on the revelation um, and the statements Jesus done. Hopefully he's got good response and then we will take it from there. Uh, Nadim, sir, you are ready, ready to go. Hi there, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it says I'm, I'm the first and I'm the last, yeah? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Do you remember why we give you a little bit time to think and reflect? I know you give time to uh, reflect. Why Jesus said it? Why God said it as well? And this and that. It wasn't this and yeah. that. We give you time to reflect on what it is in Revelation. Jesus is saying. What he says, "I'm the first and the making. last." I'm the first and the last. He's saying there. So in the day, yeah. Uh, okay, go on then. Okay then, okay then, I'll I'll concede to this one here, yeah? revelation there. Okay, yeah. So let's okay. move on to. So on can the, we can we just be clear on what you're conceding to? So no, you initially. No, I've got an option. You first one you that on you anyway, so. You asked the question. Hold, hold on. You asked the question. Why do you believe that Jesus is God? And then one of the responses that we gave you was the first and the last. This is the title of Yahweh in the Bible, throughout the prophets, throughout specifically prophet Isaiah. And then we showed you in the Quran as well that this is a title that your God uses for himself. Then we showed you Jesus <coughs> using this, these titles, first and the last, applying them to himself. So now you're saying, yes, I give it to you guys. This book does teach that Jesus is God, right? No, I'm saying that, okay, okay, he used it there, yeah. For a book of Revelation, yeah. Use that word, the words there. Use the verse there. We are not we looking. Really we are not, on... Nadim. We are not looking phrase. Okay, we want you to tell us according yeah. to your criteria, according the criteria of Quran, according the criteria of Christian scripture. Jesus is claiming to be God. So confirm that. 
can be. I'm not saying he's. Uh, I'm not saying that he's, he's he's claimed to be God. All he is he's trying to say is I'm the, I'm the person and the last. That's all it is. He's saying there. But I don't know. I don't know this hundred 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 percent. What is what you're saying? Okay, but do you agree that this is a ti these are titles, the first and last are titles, yeah. that the Bible uses specifically of God and God alone? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Quran as well. Yeah. Okay, so how do you escape the fact that Jesus is not saying that he's God then? Because they're not clear-cut words. They're not clear-cut words. For me, they're not clear-cut words. They, they are clear-cut words. In Islam, Allah has 99 names. And if you use any of those names, you so for example, you you can name your son. So one of Allah's names is uh, Anur, the, the the light. You can name your son Abd Nur, the the servant, the slave of the light. So you can name your son, or you can be a servant of any one of Allah's names. They're Allah. It equals to Allah. Yeah. What the only thing, uh, the only thing I'll say to you, yeah, is Book of Revelation, yeah was written long after Jesus. This is the only problem. This is it. I wanted evidence from when he was on earth. So, yeah, so we, we addressed that and we told you that we're no, going you to have the Bible. No, you have not that. You have not yeah. addressed it. You have, you, you, you have not shown me no, a single no, verse of Luke, your, John, Matthew, oh, and Mark. You have not shown me a single verse. No, no. Well, I, I, okay. I, I'll tell you what. I Book will. Revelation. I, I, I oh will. God. Lord willing, I will show you from the Gospel of Mark specifically. We can show you from the very first chapter where Jesus is said to be Yahweh. But before we go there, we address this, 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 uh, this proposition that you're making that we can only go to the Gospels, and we're saying when you're asking Christians, prove to me what you believe or why you believe what you believe. We have the freedom to go anywhere in the Bible because that's what we believe is the word no, of God. No, no, you, you, you have to. You have to show us where you can't. You can't tell us. It's, it's, like me tell, it's like me telling you, "Hey, prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet," but you can only use chapter two and chapter three in the Quran. It's like, I'm saying to like, you, yeah, I wanted that, the answer exactly for when you were trying to limit not us. Not after the revelation. The the revelation. Okay, um, I need to I need to step in, brother. Just a second. Um, Let me call some verses now. Nadim, Let me call some verses. Nadim, Nadim, no, I need to step in. Um, so, um, Nadim, you've been on the line yeah. for a while. For us to move forward, and for me to not get headache from you, and for you to practice the brain God given to you, and for us to not, uh, not uh, waste the time brother Jai is giving to us. We need to yeah. move forward, okay? Here's the proposal yeah. I have for you. If you sign up for this proposal, we will move forward. If not, okay. I will hang up on you. So proposal is this. Okay. Would you agree with me? Listen very carefully, okay? Would you agree with me? In Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah 44.6, God is identified as first and last. In the Quran, Surah 57, verse 3, Allah is identified as first and last, and those names are only given to God. One of yeah. the one of the condition for the Tahwid, to be Tahwid, you cannot share the facts of Allah or names of Allah with anyone else. Jesus, okay, who is identified as sinless according to Islam and according to Christian scripture? No, 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 no. No, according where, 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 Islam where? and according to Christian scripture, Jesus is Show identified as sinless. Surah 19, verse 19. Surah 19, verse 19. Surah 19, verse 19. Jesus is identified as sinless. And this sinless Jesus is taking the name of God on himself as the first and last even in the context itself it is jesus screaming out that he is god so therefore would you agree with me christian scripture confirms that jesus is claiming to have the names of god and jesus is claiming to be god and then after that so this is what the scripture is claiming agree with that if you disagree with that, that's absolutely. Um, if you disagree with that, you need to tell us why you disagree, and then we move forward. But this, like, you can 
you can say I don't like my interpretation is different. That's fine. But would you say this is what the Christian scripture is teaching? That's all I am asking you. Yes, that's what your Christ, that's what your scripture does uh, say. Now he was the first okay. and the last. Okay, so, yeah. The, Jesus is the first and last, and that name is only belonging to God Himself. So Jesus is taking the names of God. Correct. Yeah. Go on, yes. go on. Yeah, yeah, go on. Okay, thank you, um, Brother move Jai. On now. Let's move on now. So focus now. Focus now, Brother Jai. Yeah. So okay. we got. I believe we got the confirmation that this is scripture is teaching. Um, would you like to um, take our um, attention to Mark no. chapter one, or do you want to add anything on this confirmation? Let me, let me, let no, me. No, 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 you are not saying anything, well. sir. Nothing, you are not saying anything. Yeah, let you let me, you, me asked, you asked us to show you, you asked us to show you from the Gospels. So we're trying okay, we to are gonna do that. answer your request. Just give, a, give, us, give us time. So shall we turn to Mark chapter one? Before we do that, why don't we do, why don't we do a reverse Mark order? So let's go to, Isa let's go to Isaiah 40. Verse three, just to kind of establish, we Definitely. can ask certain questions and you know get certain <coughs> definitions out of the way. Um, so, so uh, Nadim, can you open up Isaiah chapter forty, verse three? Isaiah forty, verse three, and we'll read it too. I just want to make sure you're reading along with us, okay? Forty-three. Yep, Isaiah four, Isaiah forty, verse three. So Isaiah forty, verse three reads. The voice yeah. of the one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Now, I don't know the transition that you're reading. Maybe you see it's in all capital letters, L-O-R-D in all capital letters. Do you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, now what, what that indicates, the translator is indicating that when it's in all capital letters, it's referring to Yahweh. This is Yahweh. This is the, like the name of God that God <coughs> revealed himself to uh, Moses as in, in Exodus chapter 3. Okay, yeah. so... Prepare the way of the Lord, prepare the way of Yahweh. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Okay. So the according to this verse, what's uh, maybe you don't get the full context from this verse, but let me just explain this to you, or we can read the fuller context if you if you'd like. But what this is saying is that there's gonna be one coming that's going to prepare the way of Yahweh for Yahweh. Okay, so there's going to be one coming that's going to be a voice of one crying out in the wilderness, preparing the way for Yahweh. Okay, do we Where's that in what the desert? Desert in Arabia, yeah? <laughs> no, uh, no, not in Arabia. Wilderness, wilderness, desert. Yeah. That's, a, that's talking about Arabia. No, it's not so talking about I Arabia. I don't know, I don't know if you think... It is. It's talking about Arabia. Isaiah talks about more Arabia than Israel. Okay. Isaiah okay, talks about on. more okay. Arabia. Okay, well, Nadim, uh, Nadim, so the only deserts in the world are in Arabia, according to you? Are there any deserts in Africa? Or are there any deserts in Europe? Are there any deserts in any other part of the Middle East than in Arabia? Go on, go on. Okay, so thank you. I just want to establish the so the fact that it says deserts and wilderness doesn't mean that it has to be Arabia because there are deserts in the Holy Land. I don't know if you know that or not. Hey, you are um, making things complicated here. You're making things complicated. I want a single okay, verse I'm, I'm for sorry, the I'm sorry, I'm sorry for being, I'm sorry for being complicated, God. but you, you, you said it, you said it was Arabia. So I, had to, I had to clear that up. It's not about it's not talking about Arabia. Just you're making things complicated here. So let's, Let's start. Yeah. Let's start from. Let's, as a Christian, let's just, as a Christian, we need to take the scriptures seriously. Yeah, we so go step by step. So therefore, verse. therefore, we are helping you. We are helping you to understand what scripture is teaching. You don't need help me. None of the you Christian doctrine. Listen, nothing. Listen, none of the Christian doctrine is based on half verse or anything. Okay. So now, yeah. first so we will go to Old Testament and then move to the New Testament. Yes, brother Jai. No, so you're going to follow with me, Nadim. I'm not trying to complicate things. You just need to follow with me. So do we agree that the thing that there's going to be one coming, there's going to be one coming who's preparing the way for Yahweh, for the Lord. Do we agree that this is what this says? Yeah. Okay. So someone is going to be coming and that someone who comes is going to be preparing the way for Yahweh, right? Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is, a, this is a prophecy. Okay. This is a prophecy. Okay, he says so yes this, to that. So when, okay, so I know, I know, but I just want to be crystal clear. So when this is being fulfilled, we're gonna be, we're gonna see someone coming, crying out in the wilderness, and then the one that's coming after them is Yahweh. 
Because that's what this says. Mm. Okay. So let's go now to Mark. You said you said Mark specifically. I don't know. Um, maybe you thought Mark doesn't teach Jesus as Yahweh, but it does. So let's go to Mark specifically. Mark chapter one, the very first chapter of Mark. Let's 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 read verses two and three. I, actually, as a matter of fact, why don't you read those for us? Um, yeah, ideally, ideally, if you want him to read it, so because if you read it, it will help you to understand as well, Nadim. So would you be kind enough? Yeah. And then read Mark chapter 1, verse 3 for us. Verse 3, the voice of the of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Okay, okay. anything have you yeah. noticed? So, uh, I've noticed v v verse one is saying the beginning of the gospel no, no, no. In, of Jesus in, Christ. In verse three, the, God. the verse you just read it. Have you noticed anything which Jai was bringing up? Way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but who is this? Yeah, but who is this? Yeah, but who is this? Uh, uh, yeah, but who is this? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Here? The next verse. Who is, who, is, who, is this? who is this? No, yes. but Jay, who, who is this talking here? Good question. Okay, so that, good. Oh, so you're saying who's talking? So, so is yeah, that yeah. Saying, So now you're so now you're saying. Hold on one second. So we were your revelation before, where Jesus is talking, and then you're saying, okay, not revelation. We want to show you. I want to show you from the gospels. Okay. And now we bring it. Now we bring you to the gospels, and you're saying, okay, I don't want to see Mark saying it, the narrator. I want to see Jesus himself saying it. That's what you're saying. Jesus, Jay, I've asked a simple question to you from for half an hour. Show me one verse where Jesus in the gospels, four gospels, says, "I am God." Show me that you have not shown me that you show what mm. Aki oh, saying, Johnny saying, okay, this guy saying, we'll, that guy we'll, saying. we'll continue, we'll continue, but we'll, con we'll continue into the gospel no, of Mark and show you where Jesus himself says that he's Yahweh. Go, okay, we'll do that. Mark so chapter do, 12, verse 29. Mm -hmm. Mark mm -hmm. chapter 12, verse 29. Jesus says, Hail Israel, the Lord our God is one. Yeah, our keep God reading is it. One. Keep reading he said, it. Our God is one. Himself. Yeah, so keep reading Mark. it, and then he defines himself as the Lord of the Lord of David. But before we do that, let's let's just make this point for the rest of the people who may not uh, who may not know that this is teaching that Jesus is Yahweh. So no you way. see from Isaiah forty verse three, a voice cries in the wilderness, "Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God." And then in verse three, Mark chapter one, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness, "Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight." So that's referring to John. The very next verse in Mark, verse 4, goes on to talk about John the Baptist baptizing. So John the Baptist is the one who's preparing the way for the Lord. Who is John the Baptist preparing the way for? Nadim, according to the Gospels, who does he who does he pave the way for? Who does he prepare the way for? Wait, uh, verse, verse, wait, verse 3. Four again. I'm, I'm just yeah uh, yeah yeah, but I'm just saying in general, just from your knowledge. The voice of the one crying, is, prepare, 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 prepare way the way for the, of the Lord, make his path straight, mm -hmm. jump out in the wilderness and preach the baptism. Mm -hmm. And there. So so John is the one that John is the one. He's the voice crying in the wilderness. So he's the one preparing the way for the Lord. Now who is John preparing the way for? Just based on your knowledge of the Gospels, who is he preparing <coughs> the way for? Who who is John? Yeah, obviously. Oh, obviously, obviously, Jesus. I know that Jesus. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is an identification of Jesus as Yahweh. No, 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 no. No but way. No way. How can it be no way? No. While while when Jai asked you to read the Isaiah, you said it is for Lord. This is and Mark suddenly, speaking. Yeah. Suddenly, how how come it becomes no way? Because let me read again. The voice of Christ will prepare the, the prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the Baptist willingness and preach the baptism. Go to Isaiah again. It might help you to put together. Go to Isaiah oh, yeah, again. Yeah. Isaiah forty verse three, and then tell yeah, us. Lord, his path straight. Yeah, but that's not saying that Jesus God is it. It is, it is, because who is the messenger preparing the way for? The messenger, John the Baptist, is preparing the way for Jay. the Lord, Jay, 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 for Jay. the Lord, Yahweh. So, Nadine, whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, the gospel themselves says that Jesus is Yahweh. Okay? Yeah. Nadine? 
Yeah, yeah, me, you're me. paying attention. Okay, yeah, so yeah. whether you like it or not, the gospels are teaching. They're screaming out, like Sister Kunta, they're screaming out to you that Jesus is Yahweh. He's not the Father. He's not the Holy Spirit, but Jesus is Yahweh. That is totally different compared to what Jesus talks. Okay, well, do we agree with this point that if Jesus, if John the Baptist is the voice crying out in the wilderness, if John the Baptist is the voice crying out in the wilderness, he's preparing the way for Yahweh, and the fulfillment of that is for him fulfilling, the, uh, preparing the way for Jesus, do we agree that if that's true, then according to Isaiah, according to Malachi, according to the prophets, that Jesus is Yahweh? No, this is this is this is no. according to uh, Mark. This is according to who? Mark, yeah. All right, so, so, so pay attention yeah. to what I'm saying, though. Pay attention to what I'm saying. If no, 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 Jay. Case, who is writing this? Who is writing this? Yeah, who is the, the who Holy is Spirit writing is this? Writing, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is writing it. Mark. Mark is who? Who is who is Mark? Mark, Mark, is is Mark? Mark? Mark is a companion of the Apostle Peter, but the what? Holy Spirit is writing. The Holy, God is writing. He's moved by the Holy Spirit through mark okay so nadim just just pay attention to this this is a very important point i want you to get this if it's true that malachi and isaiah malachi verse malachi chapter 3 verse 1 isaiah 40 verse 3 if it's true that the voice of the one crying out in the wilderness is john and he's preparing the way for yahweh in the prophets and that fulfillment is john the baptist preparing the way for jesus if that's true doesn't that mean jesus is yahweh no, no, no. What does it mean then if it is no, 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 no? What does it mean? I think it is, it, it, Nadim, it is very easy for us to notice that kind of you never come across with this response because all you are doing is reading your Dava scripts. So, no, Hatun, yeah, to, Hatun. Let me answer. To, let me answer. Hatun. You, you, I was from day, I was from the start. Yeah, you show me one verse where Jesus you himself repeating, is claiming. You, listen, listen, Jesus you himself is claiming. You have not show me a single verse Third. from the fourth gospel. So, let me, you let are, me start quoting. You verses. are, you are repeating the same thing. If you haven't noticed, we are not falling into your trap. And we noticed, because you know, you get caught. Noticed, you know, listen, you get caught. listen now. We noticed yeah. you haven't put those verses together. We noticed you didn't even read the scripture. And right now you are struggling to handle it. That's absolutely no, 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 fine. No, 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 no. So that is absolutely fine because it is new to you. And all no, you not new to is me. memorizing not new to me. the same script. It's not new to me. Not so in it's not, Isaiah... It's not new to me. Uh, I ask you a simple question. Okay, I'm muting yeah. you. And again, have... we gave you two. We gave you two answers to your simple questions. Yes. Um. And the reason the the reason he's still expressing his simple question is because he's not listening and plugging things together, connecting things together, because he's skip um, sticking with his dawa script. He hasn't noticed, or he noticed a little bit that you are not falling into that. So therefore, he couldn't put them together. So. I'm gonna unmute you. Listen now, listen, don't shake your head. You couldn't even put together two verses and you are shaking your head. It doesn't work to get like that. So I'm gonna unmute you. I want you to tell me who is Lord in Isaiah 40 verse 3. Okay? And who is Lord in uh, Mark chapter 1 verse 3. And then we continue to have our discussion. Yes, go ahead, sir. The Lord in Isaiah obviously is God. Yeah. Thank you. What and, about uh, him? So no. Wait, wait, wait. If, if Lord is God, which we we agree on, is do we agree the messenger is the one, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness is John the Baptist? Thus, according to Mark, is according to Mark. Is, okay. Good. Good. Okay. Good. So according to Mark, John the Baptist is the one, the voice, the one crying out in the wilderness. So who does that make Jesus? Yeah. No, but no, just answer the question. Says, Come on, says, you're doing so good. The you're the doing so good. Keep going. Keep going. Hmm? I said so you're doing me, so let good. Me, let, let, let me put the question in a um, little bit more simple, Jay. Um, oh, that's a simple verse, man. You can't call simple verse. It is simple, Nadim. 
So in no, Isaiah, good. in Isaiah, you identify Lord is God. In Mark, you identify the one who is preparing the way is John the Baptist. In Mark, where it says Lord, who is that Lord in Gospel of Mark? To be honest, yeah. To be honest, yeah. I don't even know who Mark is talking about. It could be. It could okay. be. Okay. Okay. So you, it could be, but you don't know who Mark is talking about. No. Correct. Okay. So that's that's, it's that's very right. clear. What in, are your options? It's very clear in Mark. Yeah. What are your options yeah. in Mark? And in Luke, by the way, and in Luke. Okay. Let's stick with the Mark now. So you said you don't know who who are they? Who Mark is talking? So tell me your options. How many so, options do you have in Mark Gospel that Lord can be other, other who is Lord? So give me your options. No, Mark, Mark, Mark. I am not asking. I am not asking yes and no question. Listen my question carefully. What are your options? So you need to tell me your option one is what? Who is your option one? What well, Lord? So who is Lord? God, correct. In the Old Testament, is a in God, Mark, yeah? in Mark Gospel, you are struggling. Yeah. To, you are struggling to figure out who is Lord in Mark Gospel. That's your problem. I am trying to help you with your problem. Give me your options. Is that I'm not getting all options, Hatun. You are you are saying that's to that's that's to do with Jesus dies. You. I am saying that's to do with Jesus because that scripture is telling me, Nadim. I am asking, so you are saying you cannot put that together. I am asking you, give me your options so we know who are your options and then we discuss your options. That is not that difficult. So let me ask you again. Who are your options in Mark chapter 1 verse 3 for Lord? Prepare your way for the Lord. Yes, who are your options? God, God obviously sin L L O R D God. Okay, who 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 is that? Huh? Who God. is that? Who prepare, is that? Prepare, prepare, prepare the way for, for your for the Lord. Okay. Who is that? I'm not I'm not saying Jesus. You are not saying Jesus because the scripture says no. it is Jesus, and you don't want to say it's Jesus. That's that's according well, to on, Nadine. Mark. Nadine, you gotta be you gotta be honest, Nadim. Come on, we're just talking about what does the Bible say? According, according to Mark, we're not talking we're not talking about what Nadim believes here. We're talking what does the Bible say? Please, let's be honest with what the Bible says. No, that's what the that's what Mark says. Yeah. Okay. Mark who is that? Okay. So what, who that's does Mark, Mark say? Wait, say? Say it in your own words. What does Mark say? Huh? Say it in your he's own words. It. What does Mark say? He's saying prepare. prepare he's, he's quoting uh, the Isaiah. Obviously, prepare the way for the Lord. Nadine? Yes. And who, who is, is that he saying? Lord, is the... according to Mark. Yes. Who is that Lord, according to Mark? Come on, Nadine. I know, I know you can be honest. Come on, man. Be honest. No, no. That's what Mark is saying. You are begging to be honest. Now, Jai is giving you opportunity to be honest. <laughs> Take the you're opportunity, me, man. <laughs> you asked me to believe what Mark is saying. Four years I am not asking Jesus. you to what's believe. I am not asking yeah. you to believe what Mark oh, really? says. I am asking you to tell me what Mark says. Mark is We're saying, not in the Mark business of making you believe anything. We're just telling you what it says. So, so mm -hmm. can you can you tell us who does he identify as the Lord? He does not say Jesus anyway. Who are your options? So Nadine, let's work, let's work through this. If John is the voice crying out in the wilderness, who is he preparing the way for? God? And who is that in the fulfillment? Is it Jesus or is it someone else? According to Mark, it's, it's, a, it's a Jesus then, yeah? Go on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, so let's move on now. Let me, let me start quoting the person now. Notice it's let not me start difficult. quoting verses now, yeah? It is let me start quoting Nadim. verses now. Nadim, listen. Hold on. Let me quote verses. You have, you have, you have not let me quote a single verse. Nadim. You have not let me quote you ask verse. questions. You're asking us the questions. So you ask the questions and then we try to answer your question. And we you notice. Have, you have not quoted a verse where Jesus Nadim. himself says. Nadim. Where Jesus himself says. Nadim. Nadim. 
We noticed that you find games. Nadim, we noticed that you find it difficult to tell us what the scripture is saying. I am assuming because you know, as you accept the scripture, when scripture says this is talking about Jesus or this is Jesus, we acknowledge that you know there are the consequences of it. And I'm quite okay that you find that frightening. You should be frightened. So now, we is, I believe we used Revelation chapter 1. Uh, with Isaiah, we use Mark chapter 1 with Isaiah and respond to your question. So, Brother Jai, um, anything do you want to add at this stage? Because I've got two more individuals on the line. We need to take them and it's 9.30. Um, and then okay. you make your kind of command and then I will give it to Nadim. Uh, we will okay. spend maybe maximum five minutes with him so we can take the other callers as well. I've got something just after 10 o'clock, brother. So Nadim came in here thinking that the Bible doesn't teach Jesus is God, and now he's admitted that according to the Bible, he doesn't believe this, but he admits according to the Bible, yes, Mark says that Jesus is God. Revelation, Jesus is speaking, identifying as God because he's using the titles that only God attributes to himself. So this is a this is huge progress for Nadim, although he doesn't believe yet or he doesn't believe now. This is big progress. This is he's showing some humility in being able to be corrected on things which is good that's a good quality it says god you know god blesses the humble and so we we, we will pray for you nadim and we pray that god will continue to op give you information and truth about who he is um nadim i'll give you a couple of minutes to make your last comments on the passages we brought it up and then we will hang up with you in the intention i've got something at 10 o'clock just after 10 o'clock and then I've, we've got two more people that are on the line. And then we will have another evening where we can have um, discussions again. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to kind of share your thoughts and your um, takeaways from um, the two passages, four passages uh, plus one Quranic verse we brought it up. And then we move on from that. Is that okay, sir? Yes, but you you bet you never you never let me quote anything. You know you never let me quote any verses which because all we are doing said, is trying you? to answer your question. No, no, no. I asked you a simple question. Show me where Jesus Himself said in the four Gospels where Jesus is God. Mark chapter twelve twenty nine. Jesus said, "The Lord our God is one." Mark chapter no, Matthew chapter Nadim, nineteen. Nadim, I gave you a couple of minutes for your conclusion statement. In your conclusion statements, I am expecting from you to make your thoughts regarding the passages we brought up. Because if you bring up new passages now, which you should know by now, as a Christian, we believe there is only one God. So if you bring up new passages now, we won't have time to respond to them. So therefore, please just kind of make your conclusion regarding the verses which we discussed. That's like how people do conclusions when they write their essays. That's a very basic thing to do. Well, these two verses make is not important at all to me. From 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 the start, I ask you a simple question. Show me where Jesus said he's God. From the Gospels. You never show me one single verse. You never show me one single verse. This is why you, you run to the old testament, you run to Mark what Mark said. I'm not interested in what Mark said. I'm into what Jesus said from his own mouth. Yeah. Okay. So, okay can I just ju jump in? Uh, so you want us to show you from the Gospel of Mark what Jesus said. So you're willing to trust Mark with what he said about Jesus saying about himself, but you're not willing to trust Mark with anything else he said. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. We are just interested in what J Jesus says, and he said it straight. According Mark to 12. who? According to who? Yeah? Jesus. According to who? According to Mark. <laughs> Where is interested yeah. in the red letter okay. Bible? Well, what no, Jesus is Nadim, speaking? Nadim, Nadim. Um, we need to make a red letter for one day. Anyway, yeah, so go what, ahead. What so Matthew 19, is, 17. Nadim, Matthew 19, 17. Nadim, Read Matthew 19, 17. Sir, what we will do is, um, we will in, I will gently encourage you to um, rewatch this live stream and then think through, reflect on it. And then um, calling us again um, in um, another live stream. If you want to bring up new passages and new arguments, I believe 
you confirmed with us that um, scripture uh, references we brought to you, scripture simply confirms that um, Jesus is identified as Lord. That was your un question at the beginning, and I believe we answered that question. So um, let me say thank you very much for joining us and um, helping us to go to the scripture. It's always a privilege, especially when we see Muslims are um, opening Christian scripture and reading and trying to put it together. So, therefore, um, thank you very much. Hopefully, we will see you on another live stream or another uh, platform. Thank you for calling in, Nadim. Okay, I'll kick him out. Gent actually, he kicked him out gently. So, uh, let me... Get rid of Nadim. Um, so I've got James on the line. I'll take the James first, Jai, and then uh, we move on from there. Um, okay. James, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, hi. Hello, sir. Can you tell us who are you? Um, and then we are talking about the deity of Jesus. Um, once we identified who you are, we will deal with, uh, we will take it from there. Uh, yeah, uh, I just uh, want to. Are so you Muslim? Are you Christian? And, uh, I'm not a Christian, but I wanted to know whether or not um, the ideas of uh, deity itself are like incarnation, and what is the opinion of uh, incarnation in Christianity compared to, let's say, uh, Hinduism or other Eastern sort of faiths. So you identified yourself as a Christian? No. You are not Christian. What 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 no. do you believe? Uh I don't have a specific belief in general, but uh spiritual are you atheist? I think. Sorry? No. Just spiritual. What does that mean? Uh that means uh like I don't believe in like a doctrine, but uh I accept uh good teachings from all different face of schools so you just hang up around everything with your emotions okay um bring up your question again sir so my question was what is the opinion of christianity on the concept of incarnation as claimed by many eastern faiths okay um i, I can... think can i just clarify do you are you talking about reincarnation or incarnation he's asking incarnation He's asking the question, incarnation, with comparing the reincarnation of Eastern religions. Um, I'll okay. ask you, sir, um, have you read the biography of Jesus? Uh, yeah, a little bit of it. Have you, how much, when you say a little bit of it? I mean, I'm, I'm aware of the, the uh, just the birth of him, um, just the way the Trinity works. Um, but, yeah. From your answer, I am putting together you didn't re read the Bible. I mean, like, I haven't read the Bible to T, but I know the concepts behind it. Okay, so you read, um, you listen things and then you read things about Bible, but you haven't read the Bible. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is your reasoning that you didn't read, for example, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Um, well, what does that have to do with the question? No, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand, like, um, as you are asking the question, I'm just trying to understand how much kind of you know about the incarnation um, Christian scripture teaches. Uh, let's say I just know, you know, more or less just the basic doctrine, but um, I wouldn't know if you told me, oh, what does Mark or Luke or uh, John say okay, about? So you don't, okay, um, Brother um, Chai, would you like to respond to this? And then I'll make a comment after you. Yeah, so you mentioned Eastern religions, so I'm sure you're familiar with concepts like avatars, for example, in Hinduism. Yeah. That's yeah. not, yeah, so that's not what we believe when it comes to the incarnation. We believe, the inc we believe that God, God has, and he, it, you know, we have, we have a whole stream on this. Maybe we can link, maybe one of the moderators can link it in the chat uh, for you. But we have an entire stream where we cover what are called theophanies, God appearing in like various forms in the Old Testament. And uh, and then we show 
uh, basically met multiple examples of that through the Old Testament. And then we talk about what the incarnation is. The incarnation, we believe, is a one-time event, a one-time event where God, with the, the Trinity, so the Trinity, uh, do you know, do you, do you have like a basic understanding of what the Trinity is? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chris. Okay. So one God, three persons, one God. Okay. So the second person, the Trinity, the Son, took upon himself a human nature, assumed a human nature, and that we believe only happened one time in history. This is just a one-time event. All the other times when God appeared in the Old Testament, for example, in different forms in various ways, we say these are manifestations or ways where God will make himself tangible or visible to people in various forms, but these are not things that God uh, attached to himself permanently. For the incarnation, we believe this is a permanent thing, that Jesus is eternally the God-man for all of eternity. And uh, this is a unique doctrine, a unique belief within Christianity. It's not parallel to like an avatar in Hinduism, for example. Gotcha. So like, and is there like a reason for it? Yes. Yes, there is a reason for it. And... Uh, we would encourage you to read the Gospels in particular. You'll see the reason for this. There is a, there's an early church father named Athanasius who wrote on this topic called the On the Incarnation. And this entire book is about, it's about how we need God to save us from our sins. Why the Incarnation is a necessity in human history. So why does God need to take on human flesh, human nature to save us? from our sins to save us from uh from punishment from wrath punishment for our sins so yeah so let me just break it down to you why this is necessary the reason why it's necessary for for god the infinite to take on our our the punishment that was rightly that would have been rightly inflicted onto us the punishment that would have been rightly inflicted onto us as punishment for our sins that the infinite one had to take this upon himself because he's taking on the sins of every single person. He's facing death for every single person. So it's not possible for a mere creature to absorb or to take on the punishment or the wrath of sin for, for every single cre every single person in creation. It requires a sinless, a sinless, um, a sinless person, and it requires them to be infinite in some way. So we believe that, it, so that's kind of like, in, in a short version of it, and I'm sure Sister Atun can, you know, elaborate more on this. But this is why there's a necessity for God to take on human nature and to bear the punishment, the consequences for our sins, and then He dies. That's the punishment for 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 sin. This is you know this is the cause, the consequence of sin, and then He raised, He's rise from the dead the third day, rise from the dead on the third day, as a proof, the evidence. That he defeated death, that sin was paid for, that he reconciled the world to him. All of these things, he, he made atonement possible for all people so long as they place their trust in him and they repent and trust in him and his finished work. So what happened on the cross is multifold. There are many things that happened on the cross, but it needed to be God who did it because the, the price was infinite and only God could pay that price. So um, I think we can simply say... In incarnation, uh, Jesus reveals God to redeem people to God. Um, Isaiah talks about, um, so I'm going to mute you uh, just because there is like funny background from your side. Isaiah talks about in, in Isaiah 59, he saw that there was no one. He was appalled that there was no one to intercede, so his own arm worked salvation for him. Lord Jesus Christ, out of zero obligation, takes up human nature, comes and dwells among us, gives himself on the cross so that people can reconcile to God, so people can be redeemed. There was no any other way. There was no any other way. Therefore, Lord Jesus Christ stepped in. We, as Brother Jai expressed that we did, um, I think it was just before Christmas, we did live stream on um, looking into Old Testament and then seeing um, Jesus in the Old Testament. And then we recently celebrate Christmas, which is the kind of um, Christians to focus their 
eyes, their hearts and their minds to uh, one who stepped into the world to take up human nature. You might find helpful to watch those videos. Um, if you've got any comments um, at this stage, bring them up, sir. You muted yourself, uh, James? Yep. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, no, thank you, Jay, uh, for, um, I know it's a vast topic and like, um, and I know, uh, sister, you gotta have to leave soon. So, um, I'll check out the, uh, the video, uh, definitely. This is very important topic for us because, uh, it, like, it's very important for us. Um, one of the things we can do is once again, we have, um, live stream, please call in a little bit, um, or get the queue a little bit earlier so we can respond to um, ob your objections as well. But ideally, um, if you are going to call and then ask questions about certain topics, you want to have very basics of that topic. So um, I gen just gently want to encourage you, please, James, um, do read the biography of Jesus. Um, and then uh, when you kind of next time call in, you will know actually what Christian scripture overall teaches. Um, there are a couple of essential essential passages in Old Testament that needs to, needs, needs to be read. Genesis 1, 2, 3. Um, Genesis 15, Genesis 22, Isaiah 53, Hosea 11, Isaiah 59. Those are like essential, uh, some of the essential passages needs to be read in Old Testament and then read some of the biography of Jesus and then call us in again and then we can continue to have our conversation. All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for calling in, James. Okay, I'm just gonna take um, Carol. Um, hello. As brother. Okay, I, uh, Carol, I need you to. I need you to mute. Did, um, um, I, Carol, I need you to mute YouTube. Your YouTube is on. And it is not helping with our communication. So I'm going to unmute you again to see if your YouTube is muted. And then we take it from there. So is the YouTube is muted right now? You have muted yourself. If you can unmute yourself, Carol. No. Would you be able to unmute yourself? So once you mute yourself, I cannot unmute you. Yes, you are unmuted. Un unmute yourself. Are you able to hear me? Carol, are you able to hear me? Okay, that was goodbye to Carol. <laughs> there was technical issues from that side. Um, I think that will be the kind of last call we will take in for tonight. It's um, 48 past Um Brother Jai, how, yes. how are you feeling, brother? Ah, good. Uh, you know, I was reminded of a scripture as we were talking to Nadim and we're talking to Obi today, and I think half of it's applicable to one of them and half of it's applicable to the other one. <laughs> so in James chapter 4, verse 6, uh, it says, it's talking God, he gives grace to the home let me just find a, another transition here okay but he gives more but he gives more grace therefore he says god resists the proud but he gives grace to the humble so um people who are prideful like we saw with obi and his friend kind of like making fun and trying to challenge and without really understanding the topics they were discussing you can you can kind of sense the spirit and the motivation that they have and then you have someone like nadim who I don't remember interacting with him before. It looked, for, it looked like the comments people in the live chat were recognizing him. So maybe yeah, called, I have a he called in our um, previous live stream. I don't think you were here, but he did call uh, okay. us in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe my judgment of him is not accurate or whatever. But I, I think from the sense that I'm getting is that, you know, he seems to be kind of humble, at least in regards to being able to admit when he's wrong and being able to admit this is what the Bible says. Even though I don't agree with it, this is what the Bible says. Um, our prayer is that he will agree with it. And like I said to him, you know, it's not our job to make him believe or not believe. That's the job of God. We are just the ones who are planting seeds and giving the message. And then it's between them and God. So God tells us in his word, he tells us in his word that faith comes by hearing 
and by hearing of the word of God. So Romans chapter, uh, Romans chapter uh, 10, verse 17. 10 verse 17 um and so so this is an example of you know when we're sharing god's word and god says in the book of isaiah as well that you know his word does not return void so it's going to have an impact whether that means it's going to soften their hearts to get them to see the truth and to humble them or sometimes the same like there's a saying that the same sun that can you know melt uh the same sun that can like melt um I think it's like melt ice or something. I forget what the saying goes exactly. It's the same sun that can also harden clay. So sometimes the amount of like what you share with somebody, it can melt somebody's heart, but then it can harden someone else's heart. So God's word doesn't return void. And God says that his word produces faith. So it has different effects on different people. And, and um, I just pray for both of them. I pray for both of them that they will both come to the truth. Because that's, that's the prayer that we have for all unbelievers, that they come to a knowledge of the truth. But... It seems like um, Nadim is. Uh, um, we have more callers. I see. Is that um, what I? Yeah, yeah, you finish your. I just put it there, so I'm very much aware that people are calling in. Okay, so I I'll really, just wrap yeah, up. I, them. I don't want to keep them waiting. I can't take them, um, so we will uh, give them hopefully another opportunity for them to call in. So I'm very much aware that you are calling in. But um, I really got like something after 10 o'clock. I can't uh, stay long. If I can't stay, I can't stay. Um, so hopefully mm. we will give you another opportunity for you to call in. I apologize for that. Um, sorry, brother. I didn't mean to cut cut you off. That's okay. Yeah, so so I was just, you know, encouraging us to all to pray for Nadim. Also pray for Obi as well, but maybe in different ways. And, um, you know, ultimately we pray for both their salvation. But now that we kind of have uh, insights into them as people, we can pray for them in special kind of unique ways. Um, you know, like for Obi, we can pray that God will open up his eyes and open up his heart and to humble him. And someone like Nadim, we can pray that God will continue to show him the truth and continue to reveal him to his truth. And then one day Obi's going to have to make a choice like everybody else. And we're just the ones who, who give the message. We don't have anything to do with people's salvation. All we are is instruments and tools that God uses. And we're, we don't, God doesn't need us. He doesn't need us. He desires fellowship with us. He loves us, but he doesn't need us. So we're not required in this. God can just, you know, God can make the rocks preach out. <laughs> you know, he can make the rocks preach out. So um, we're just doing uh, what we're commanded out of love, though. We're doing out of love. And uh, we, yeah, we pray for these people to be saved in Jesus' name. Yeah. Um, thank, thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much for joining uh, joining in and helping us to take some questions. Hopefully, we will try to do this um, kind of maybe a um, couple of times so that you get your questions in. You don't bother me <laughs> through Skype. Uh, and also, some of you expresses that you can't be at speaker's corner to expose me so this is great opportunity for you to do so as well um please accept my apologies for those who are co still calling in but i really can't take those calls hopefully we will give you another um time and another platform for you to call in and bring up your objections because uh as a Christian, we are not afraid of the questions. As we hear the questions, it helps us to dig into the scripture. As we dig into the scripture, we are not afraid that we will see something about our God, which is going to discourage, our, discourage us, or we are afraid of seeing something about God. As we look into scripture, it helps us to fall in love more and more with God. We get to be more delighted about our God because we learn something new. We start thinking differently about, about our delightful Lord. And of course, uh, as a Christian, we kind of uh, believe Jesus is Lord because scripture forces us. And as Jai expressed, scripture has supreme authority over all and if you believe we are wrong, uh, it will be your duty to step in and then challenge us. Uh, but I think that will be very wrong because word of God expresses Jesus is God incarnate. Um, I've got six more minutes. So, um, Brother Jai, once again, thank you very much for joining me. And also thank you very much, everyone in the chat who 
were in the chat. I wasn't that much aware of the chat, but hopefully uh, I'll kind of check them if there is any kind of thing went wrong. We will pick that up, uh, pick that up. Um, and once again, when we do the live stream, um, feel free to call in and then we can have um, discussions on that. Um, as Jai expressed, please, please, um, as we get to kind of speak to people, as we get to know them a little bit, uh, it breaks our heart more that they are far away from Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are on our knees and we pray that Lord Jesus Christ brings those people to himself. So please join in and pray for individuals we spoke to today that Lord will open their hearts and their minds and their eyes. Um, I think that's it from me. Um, Jai, once again, brother, thank you very much for joining me. And I am sorry if there was anything you find it stressful or stressful or not stressful. If it is stressful, I apologize for that. Kind of uh, sometimes those things happens. Hopefully we... No, no, sister. It's okay. Thank you for having me on, sister. God bless you. God bless all of the viewers. And I pray that everybody has a great day. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you for that. And also what one of the things I've done, I have been doing is um, those of you who are watching, um, you notice that um, in the live stream, it says at um, Jai Apologetics. If you click that, that will directly take you to Jai's YouTube channel, which you can subscribe and follow his work. He does amazing um he puts amazing videos up there and i think one of his video was my one of my favorite of 2021 so you will have not only lots of fun but you will also have lots of knowledge from his youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to his youtube channel please do so and beloved ones may christ crucified silently with his love and dear muslim friends while you are breathing out and in we ask you to turn to lord jesus christ in repentance so that he can give you eternal life as well god bless you all we will see you tomorrow evening